Okay, here's a quick guide on how to install and use DOSBox to play old video games. Alright, so what you need to do is go to DOSBox.com. We'll take you to this page. You then click on Downloads. And once you're there, uh, you click on your operating system. So this will most likely be Windows. Click on Windows. It will download the file. You then click the file. It will run the installer. You can just use the default location or put it wherever you like, really. All right, once that's done, you will have a nice icon on your desktop, like this. Once you open that up, you'll be presented with this DOSBox window. Now you can go and download a DOS game of your liking. So in this case, I'm going to go to streetrodonline.com forward slash downloads. I'm going to download the PC version of Street Rod 1 and typically the game will download into a zip file as you can see here. What you need to do is you need to extract that zip file to a specific folder. I suggest you put it into a folder where you will be putting the rest of your games into as this will make it easier later. So in this case I'm putting it in C DOS games SR1 going to extract it and let's go find the game okay if we browse to the game under windows you'll see this is on c drive dos games and there is street rod one inside there there's another folder street rod one and the actual executable is there sr.exe the main thing we need to know is where the game is situated so in this case it's c colon backslash dos games all right this is important because this is what we need to type here into DOSBox. The command is mount space. You're going to give it a drive letter. So you're going to tell it C space and then the actual path of where your games will be stored. So in this case it's C colon backslash DOS games. All right, you need to do this every time you open DOSBox. If you, uh, there is a way to automate it, which I'll, I'll show in future, but this is the main thing. You start DOSBox off by putting in mount space C space C colon forward slash DOS games, if that is where your games are stored. All right, then it gives a prompt to say drive C is mounted as a local directory. All you do is you go C colon press enter if you type in dir for directory it will show you there is a directory called sr1 which is what we're seeing here and if you go cd for change directory space sr1 enter and you type in dir again you will see there is another directory called sr1 if we go over there in windows we can see the exact same thing all right so let's uh Go into that folder as well. Once we're in there, we'll see all the files and we're looking for the exe uh, or .com. It's usually a, an exe file. So there it is, sr for streetrod.exe. So we're going to type sr. You don't need to type the .exe, just type XR, uh, sr and enter. And there we go, the game starts right up. I hope this was helpful. Bye.